Shut up. I'm so sorry, it's my friend's steak. Um... I, I, I'm just not sure that it's cooked properly, because um, I did ask for it well done, but I'm not very good on that meat, so... Right. Um, OK. Um, I'll just get that changed for you, then. Thank you. No problem. Um, just be a moment. Chef? This has just come back from table seven. The woman says um, maybe she could have it a bit more cooked. She... <laughs> oh, dear. Well, perhaps she'd like it better if it was dressed like a woman. Do you like it better? Dress like a woman. Femina. Want some little calm, maybe? Perhaps you like it better. Some little calm. Yeah. Or in a house, yeah. Want some little house? That's nice. Is that what you prefer, Billy? Yeah. Should be fine now. She has just popped it under the grill for a while. <laughs> the proceeds from the sale of aforementioned jumble will go towards the purchase of a new computer, any gifts or bric a brac, children's clothes, books will be gratefully received by the school. Oh, yay! Oh, yay! Yeah, well, basically, it's a, it's a jumble sale. Yeah, at the school. Saturday. Oh, yay! St. Martin's, that's it. I don't know, bric-a-brac, jumble, that sort of thing. Yeah? You got that? OK. All right, well, I'll be back in about ten minutes. I remember when they were playing Nottingham Civic Centre, and um, my brother drove me down there, and they were, like, 15 or something, and, um, and we got there, and they um, were playing. And, um, and it was actually them, you know, inside, playing. And, and it were like... I can't describe it. It was like... <laughs> you weren't there, though, were you? <laughs> we don't try to hide battle battle, you know. Um, I'm very proud of it, you know. We had three number ones. We had eight top 40 hits off three albums. I mean, that's... That's quite something. <laughs> people that were into the band. Um, I still get a great deal of enjoyment from that. Mm. Um, <laughs> it can be a very good point of contact with people, um, clients and so forth. But equally, 
I'd have to say it's important people realise We realise we've moved on. This is from um, 1992. This is when they merged with TLF. Um, well, actually, it was more of a buyout. Really. But they were very buoyant then. And I was like, you know, I could hardly, I couldn't sleep a wing now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyway, this is our favourite. Oh, yeah. This is... This plaque is awarded to the Double Ship Security for Outstanding Achievement, Security Industry. <laughs> you, can't put a, you can't put a price on peace of mind. No. Um, for a lot of people, security is just some guy, you know, a gorilla in a dicky bow, and uh, it's not. It's, it's a people job. The now is the new fleet proposal. This is the ah, final yes. draft, OK? If you could just, you know, Give it the once over. Okay. Good. Is it it? <laughs> we still try to be involved at every level. <laughs> Steve, how was that? Is that right. fine? No problem. Well, I'll tell you what, we uh, should circulate the memo of the effect that Monarch Street is going to be closed next. I think it's fair to say Stu is probably the only executive director of a UK based security firm that still drives the vans. As employers in the security industry, we obviously look for qualifications. Accredited security training is vital. I think the days are long gone when you could just walk straight out of the armed forces into, you know, a cushy job in the security sector. I mean, it's it's very, very competitive just now. <laughs> It's a very long time ago. Oh, yeah! I am now joined by the headmaster of St Martin's School, Dr Bill Parker. Dr Parker, is it not a sorry indictment of the education system that your school is forced to raise money by selling jumbo? Well, no, I, I don't think it is. No, no, man, shout! Shout! Well, no, I don't yeah, think it's particularly uh, improper. Because louder, can you go louder? Oh, look, could we do this inside? No, no! <laughs> well, we are part of the Commonwealth, which is to say we are a, a British protectorate, although it would have to be admitted that we're not perhaps the, the, the most well known of the islands in the region. Good afternoon, young man. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I was <laughs> wondering if you had any mangoes. Yes, um, right. I'm sure I've got some around here somewhere. Uh, <laughs> some of us came over from Scotland in the second half of the 18th century, and the rest of us settled here from the Belgian Congo which goes, I suppose, some way towards explaining what people like to call our, our distinctive accent. Although I must say to the native ear, it sounds perfectly unremarkable. Let me have a quick look. Um, do, 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 maybe they're done here. Hang on a moment. <laughs> Being a small island, we're not a, a terribly celebrated community. Um, which is to say we don't export terribly well. 
Uh, there was a Cheltenham girl cup winner last century whose name for the moment escapes me, um, but the, the, the jazz saxophonist uh, Jed Baxter, he, he was a native islander. Um, well, Richard Wilson, the comedy actor, he's from here. <laughs> oh, yes, perhaps they're in this box. <laughs> Sale at St Martin's School. Oh yay! Victoria Street to be closed for two weeks for roadworks. Oh yay! Local chemist in prescription inquiry. Oh yay! And off to the break. How fluffy the kitten learned to play the flute. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am receiving. Go, go! Right, it's on, come on. All units, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. go, 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 go. Okay, up, 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 let's get a go. position check. Go, go, okay, let's move it. Let's move it. Go, 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 go! So it's cool. Okay, let's move it. Let's move it. Come on, lads. Come on, we're moving out. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Unit 429, we're coming in. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! United Base, yeah. We're travelling. Go, 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 go! Away. Yeah, we are mobile. We are mobile. Over. Right in bed. Right in bed. Move in. Oh, go, 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 go. We are responding. We are responding. Nicely. Go, 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 go. Yes. Oh. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> got arboretum, orangery, whatever that is. House. House. House, we've got a house! <laughs> yep, yeah. it's the left. Left foot. Okay. Let's move. We're on our way. Okay. On our way. There's, um, there's, a, there's a couple of landmarks um, Foxtrot, Alpha, Delta, Radio, 4545. Four, it's supposed to go Base Camp 1, Base Camp 2, Base Camp 3. But um, it's like they'll spend an extra couple of hours at um, Base Camp 1. And it's warmer. It's warmer. <laughs> uh, then they'll go like mad for 12 hours. Skip base camp two, go straight to base camp three. Um, I still put it down in the book that they went there, but um, <laughs> no, in reality, they never went anywhere near it. <laughs> I saw that happen a couple of times. <laughs> I remember one uh, particular expedition very clearly. Uh, we were climbing Kungami. Mount Kungami, Kungami by the northwestern approach, which had never been tried before, and um, we were at top camp. And we had like half a day before the weather was going to close in. So the leader, like the group leader, says he's going to make an attempt for the summit. And he picks me to, to partner him, like go with him. <laughs> so we set off from top camp and we'd been gone, what, 20 minutes, half an hour. And he just stops dead, digs himself in and starts eating a chocolate bar. <laughs> and I, I says to him, what about the summit attempt? And he says, who's going to know? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of rubbish talked about Everest. Um, you know, people make out it's the hardest. Uh, it's the tallest, but I mean, no way is it the hardest. It's I not mean, even the tallest. There's plenty of mountains taller than Everest that just don't let on. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, on the uh, French expedition, 1982. We were attempting the northeast face without oxygen, first time it had been attempted. And um, we do a little bit of climbing in the morning. Two, sometimes three hour lunch, coffees, desserts, the works. <laughs> a little bit more climbing after that, we felt like it. Then in the afternoon, we'd have uh, afternoon tea. Um, some of the lads would play petong. <laughs> a bit more climbing. Then uh, we'd have um, uh, like an aperitif, uh, which is like a little drink. <laughs> and uh, leisurely dinner, four, sometimes five courses. I mean, this is top notch stuff with wine and that. On a couple of occasions, we even invited a few climbers over from the women's expedition, you know. <laughs> bit of a party. In no uncertain terms, right? <laughs> I mean, we'd not be in bed till, you know, five o'clock in the morning. The next day, they just get up to do the whole thing again, you know. It goes on. Not, not a lot of people know the top of K2. It's like a revolving restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> it's an HMV store, no? HMV. 
It's not sharp stuff, like, but it's got, you know, it's got the verve. It's got the verve. <laughs> go, go! Nicely. Let's go! Nicely. Let's go! Go, 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 go! Yes, we are receiving all units responding now. Yes, all units responding. <laughs> No, of course, I did always want to be an actor, but it was just something that one kept very much to uh, oneself. You see, this was just after the war, and um, acting was not something that people like us did. You see, we were terribly um, working class. The task we'd set ourselves this week was to locate and repair a gas leak. So, what, what stage are we at, then? Well, we've we've got a we've got a basic idea of where the pipe trench might run, yeah. And I think that if you just basically put a trench across it, you're bound to hit it at some point. Okay. <laughs> well, come on, guys, this isn't good enough, is it? So we've got a we've got a, a possible location of a pipe trench. Mm. Oh. What we need is a pipe. Yeah. Well, uh, what I think we do have at the moment, I think we basically know the uh, <laughs> rough of the pipe, uh, and we know a gas leak's been reported. Uh, however, whether or not we're at, at liberty to hazard a guess, I think we probably are. The council had come up trumps. The local architect's drawing clearly showed a pipe. But what could we offer? Which of well, come on, come on, let's stop farting about, please. Let's, that, you <laughs> let's stop farting about and get on with it. <laughs> the team set about creating the authentic environment of a working-class person. Is it Velcro? Is it Velcro there? Yeah, yeah, yeah got it. Um, so... If they were fixing um, something like a gas leak, this is the sort of tent. Is this the sort of tent they would have used? Yeah, this is the sort of tent they actually do use at present. Um, this kind of wooden structure with the canvas and the velcro. Right. And, and how many people used. would be in here? I don't know. Possibly three or four. It would depend how how large or small the person was. Nicky, Nicky, so, sorry. Would, would you mind sort of um, uh, moving out? Just we're, we're trying to get the tent up. And, um, right. Okay. <laughs> carry on, everyone. Brilliant. You, that's carry right. on. <laughs> Nothing much was happening, so I decided to make one of my emotional appeals to camera. We <laughs> don't have the plans that a pipe trench was dug. We know roughly where it was dug. Still, we haven't found the pipe, haven't found the gas leak. <laughs> But, uh, if it were there, it would be shallower than that. So I think, in a way, I think, I think we have to realise that's not the location of the pipe. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I think you've given up too soon on this, you know. Because I reckon if you put some of that through a sieve, you might just find a trace of pipe, tiny fragment. Well, I, uh, uh, I admire your optimism, certainly. But uh, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be much use to us when it comes to repairing a leak, is it? <laughs> Well, disappointing, really, not to have found the pipe. Still, we do have a very clear idea from, from Daniel's reconstruction of, of what the gas leak would have looked like. <laughs> all in all, uh, another big success for Sunday Tenny Team. <laughs> <laughs> Some 
for the seven stars in the sky, and six for the six proud walkers. Five for the symbols at your door, and four for the gospel makers. Three, three, the rivals. Two, two, the rivals. <laughs> I'll sing you nine of oh, green <laughs> brown <laughs> rushes so, of the boys. Wait, wait, wait. It's 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 okay, guys, we'll take it from ten when we get back, okay? Pick up on ten. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Excuse me, can I get my bell back out of your garden? <laughs> <laughs> Detective Mike Parsons. Detective Sergeant in Charge of Crime, Jack Lampkin. Parsons and Lampkin. And Lampkin's mate, Steve. Is this the tape of the interview you conducted with my client on Tuesday, the 12th of May, 1997? Yes, it is. If the clerk could play the tape, please. Interview with William Jarvis, 12th of the 5th, 97. Present Detective Superintendent Mike Parsons and Detective Sergeant in charge of crime, Jack Lampkin. And Lampkin's mate, Steve. <laughs> so, Mr Jarvis, perhaps you would like to explain where you were on the evening of Wednesday, March the 3rd, 1996. I was at home, wasn't I? You were at home. Hey, Lampkin, he was at home. I'll touch you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got back from work about half past five, I had me tea, and then I sat and watched television. Oh, God, did you see Inspector Morse? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the one I was telling you about. It's yeah? the old librarian. Oh, and he's really <laughs> close to close the library or something. And, um, well, he, you know, he takes matters into his own hands. Yeah, before he knows it, he's, he's up for Steve. murder. He Steve, murders the... Steve, sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. I've just got to ask this guy a couple of questions for the tape, all right? Oh, you bastards. You're not recording this, are you? What, what have I said? What have I said? Oh, oh, you're listening to Radio 1. Steve. Here's the top 40 with Steve. Steve don't, 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 don't rewind it. Don't, Steve, don't rewind it. It's for evidence kind of thing. Steve, it's for evidence. Steve, Steve, Steve! Steve, Steve, Steve. I would never look down on television commercials because, in a way, they are like mini plays, except that your leading lady is often the sanitary towel. <laughs> Find out who'll be smiling next on four when the Cincinnati Bengals face the Philadelphia Eagles in the American football big match. Good. 